this is Keelan Pesos for IFL TV. We're in downtown LA here for the Canelo and Angulo press conference with me. I've got head of show time, Stephen Espinosa. How are you, Stephen? I'm great. How about yourself? Very well. Uh, the first pay per view event for Showtime this year, Canelo and Angulo. I think the fight kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Uh, it, it does. You know, we, we tried to make you know four fights here that are quality action fights uh, with guys who are aggressive. This is there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, you know a whole lot of strategy. This is uh, this is punch volume and and hard punching. I really think it's really going to be the theme of the night. Mm. Uh, a huge Mexican obviously theme to it. Um, but it's obviously in March and uh, not the traditional um, May weekend with the Cinco de Mayo. So what were the ideas behind that? Well, you know, Canelo wanted to be more active this year. Um, and that's really what pushed us to March. You know, it would have made sense to have him fight in May, but then it makes it tough to do a fight in May and then two other fights. So uh, with his desire to be very busy this year, we're scheduled, uh, put him on the, on the calendar for March, July, and November. Um, and he's going to be fighting three top quality fights. Mm. Um, obviously, the undercard as well stacked with uh, like Leo Santa Cruz and um, uh, Canelo's brother as well. So, right. talk to us a little bit about the undercard. Well, uh, if we have two of um, you know the brightest young stars. I don't know if we can really call uh, Leo still a rising star. I think he's he's at least uh, started to earn a, a name with the Hispanic fans in particular. Um, but he's obviously a young kid. All action, uh, punch volume. Omar Figueroa is another rising star who's very, very uh, active in the ring. Really exciting. I recall a fight, one of the fights of the year for everybody. Um, and you've got a good, uh, a good setup here where you've got the young rising stars against established veterans. You know, and it's it's a good formula. It's a good test for each of them. Um, and I've no doubt that those fights are going to be really exciting. You never get a bad fight out of Leo Santa Cruz or or out of Omar Figueroa. Going back to the main event, who do you think has got more to lose in this fight, out of Canelo and, and Gulo? Um, it's a good fight. Um, it's a good question, rather. Uh, you know, they're both coming off losses, although I don't think either one of them really has anything to be embarrassed of with either loss. Uh, you've got one guy who had a freak injury to his eye, and the other guy lost to the best fighter in the world. So I don't think anything has uh, anybody to be ashamed of. Having said that, I know neither one of them has any interest in losing two fights in a row. Um, so aside from that, you've also got the Mexican pride on the line. Um, it's a huge opportunity for for Angulo. Never had a fight this big, um, so it's really uh, it's really a very meaningful fight to, to both fighters. Um, obviously, I'm from England. Strong rumors going about about Floyd Mayweather's next opponent being uh, very old Amir Khan. I don't think there's anything you're going to tell me, but is there anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything you can let us know about? Uh, I I don't know whether it's going to be before the Super Bowl or after, but I, I do think he'll be making an announcement fairly soon. Um, I don't believe he's made a decision yet. Um, Amir Khan is definitely one of the front runners to get it. Okay. So well, was, that, was that sufficiently no, no, that's ambiguous? Enough, that's enough information. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, Stephen, thank you very much for talking to iPhone TV. And like I said, we look forward to this. It's a, a cracking fight, Canelo and Angulo. And a, It'll be uh, fun. It'll be a fun night. to go 12 rounds. So Absolutely. We'll All right, thank great. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.